So our topic for today is separable differential equation. So we are now going to solve first order differential equations. There are several methods or techniques that we can use to solve a differential equation. The first one that we are going to learn is the variable separable or separation of the variables. Okay, so let's consider this first order differential equation. So dy over dx is equal to the function of um, either x or y or both functions of x and y. So take note, so this could be both functions of x and y. And then with this first order differential equation, okay, let's rewrite this into this format where the first term is m, a function of x and y, and n, a function of x and y times dy over dx equal to zero. If we transform this equation into a differential form, in which m is the coefficient, a function, a coefficient of dx, and n as the coefficient of dy equal to zero. So take note that m is a function of x and y, and n is a function of x and y. So for us to be able to arrive at, at its solution, so we need to integrate this differential equation. However, for you to be able to integrate this equation, you can see there's a dx here. So the first thing that you need to do is to make sure that the coefficient is a pure function of x. And for the second term na involve yung dy or the variable y, so you need to make sure that the coefficient or the function here in your dy is a pure function of y. So if you can be able to separate the variables where y is with dy and x is with dx, then you can now proceed to integration. So that's basically one technique. So there are differential equations that cannot be that you cannot separate the variables where you can put the variable x to dx and variable y to dy, or we can you cannot put. Okay, so it means that a differential equation has another method or another way or technique to solve for its solution. Okay, again, so in the previous lessons that we had, our objective there was to arrive at its differential equation. Now our focus is finding for the solution. So if we did before um, differentiation now, we are going to use integration to arrive at the solution. So, tandaan na, given tayo ng differential equation and the method or the process that we are going to use is integration to arrive at the solution of a differential equation. There are two types of solutions. Just to recall, the first is the general solution and the second is the particular solution. So, firstly, if you're asked to solve for the particular solution, you first arrive at its general solution. So again, not all first order differential equations can be solved using this technique where you separate the variables, where you put x to dx and you make sure that y is with differential y or dy. Okay, so this is a first method. Now, we have the following uh, problems here to solve. So prior to solving these problems, let me just show you if this differential equation is. Okay, let me just write something here. Now I will show you here an example how you can be able to separate a variable or if the DE is separable or not. Okay, so x, y plus x okay, times dx plus okay, x plus 1 dy equal to 0. The process for finding the solution of a DE is through integration, but you cannot integrate this differential equation if dx has a function now both uh, x and y. So you need to 
factor out or to separate the variables. So kapag naka-product form siya, mas madali mong ma-separate yung variables. So take, take a look at this example. So ito, this is, um, this term contains a function of x times dy, and here you have functions x and y times dx. So as you can see, you can be able to factor this one since common yung variable x. So you can write x, factoring out x, so you have yeah, y plus 1 times dx. And on the second term, so copy lang natin, x plus 1 okay, times dy equal to 0. So our objective here is to make this term a pure function of x and this term a pure function of y. Okay, for us to be able to proceed to the next step, which is the integration. Now, we need to eliminate here the function of y. Dapat kasi pure function of x lang to. So we divide both sides by what? Okay, this function y plus 1. Okay, the entire equation by, divide the entire equation by y plus 1. And for the second term, we have... Okay, we need to make this term a pure function of y. So, kailangan tanggalin natin yung x plus 1, yung function of x. So, divide both sides by x plus 1. So, ito yung case na pwede natin ma-separate yung variables. But there are other differential equations that you cannot separate the variables. So, I'll show you an example later after this one. So, dividing both sides by these factors, y plus 1 times x plus 1. So, divide natin dito. So, what will happen to the first term? You will have x times dx. And cancel natin yung y plus 1. So, ang matitira dito is x plus 1. So, as you can see, the first term is a pure function of x. Ayan, pwede natin siyang ma-integrate. Okay? But before that, yan, tapusin muna natin. So, divide this term by y plus 1 uh, times x plus 1. So, makancel na x plus 1. So, as you can see, you will have dy over y plus 1 equal to 0 divided by these functions, 0. Okay? A pure function of x. So, pwede integrate a pure function of y. And you have a zero to the right-hand side ng equation mo. So, ayun na. Yun na yung next step. So, if you can be able to separate the variables where x ay naka dx at si y ay naka dy, then that differential equation is a separable de. So, yung first natin na example is a first-order de. So, tandaan na lahat ng itong differential equation to is first-order differential equation na ano yung, ano, ano yung patatandaan natin para masabi na first order DE siya. Present yung first derivative, di ba? I mean, the highest derivative that you can see here is first derivative. So lahat yan, first derivative, first derivative, first derivative. Kaya first order, ordinary differential equation. Ordinary because you can also only see ordinary derivatives. No partial derivatives are in this equation. Now, Let's continue. Let's solve the first example. Ayan. dy over dx is equal to x over y. Ayan. So, cross-multiply lang natin yan. Diba? Para mahiwalay yung variable. So, you have y dy sa left-hand side. Sa right-hand side, you have x dx. So, simple as that. Diba? Napaka-simple. So, kayang paghiwalayin. Ano yung example ng mga DE na hindi kayang paghiwalayin? Okay, example nitong DE na hindi kayang paghiwalayin is yan, x plus y. Diba? Hindi mo kayang i-factor yan. Diba? Pag may nakita kang ganyan na DE, yan, y prime is equal to, uh, say for instance, may trigo functions. Now, hindi siya linear na ano, so hindi siya limited sa mga algebraic functions lang. So may mga cases na pwedeng involve yung trigo functions, exponential, logarithmic functions, so ganun. So ito, kasi this function actually contains variable x and variable y. So paano masabi hindi mapaghiwalay, sir? Di ba kasi yung dy over dx, itong y prime is dy over dx. Okay. Although dalawang terms niya, kapag distribute mo tong ano, 
Tingnan natin ha. Okay. Sige. If you multiply both sides by dx, kasi we know that y prime is what? dy over dx. Para maging differential siya. Okay. Ang gawin natin. So you have now x what? Plus y d, uh, times dy makansul yung dx equal to cosine of x dx. Okay. Kung pansin niyo di ba, itong sa side na to, pure function of x siya. Although, although pure function of x siya, hindi ko mo pwedeng, o oh, sige, pure function of x na siya, sir, so pwede ko nang integrate Hindi pwede kasi, yung dy mo naman na side, kailangan lahat, ha? kailangan wala kang makita dyan na magkasama yung, yung variables x and y. Kailangan, as in, sa isang term na yan, pure function of x or x variable alone, y variable alone yung makita mo dun. So, ito, pag distribute mo yung dy, di ba maging x dy ka, right? Tapos okay. y dy. Yung y dy, pure function of y yan. O, kaso nga lang, the, yung fact na meron kang x times dy, hindi pwedeng ma-integrate yung mismong term na hindi siya separable. Nakuha nyo, pag hindi nyo kayong paghiwalayin, ibig sabihin, may ibang method na gagamitin para ma-solve yung DE at hindi siya through separation of variables. Meron tayong technique na substitution, meron tayong mga DEs na linear, may exact differential equation, ginagamitan ng integrating factor. So, madami yan. May Bernoulli's pa. Okay? Itong unang technique natin is yung very straightforward siya na kapag nag-cross-multiply ka, pag nag-multiply ka ng ganitong factor in each term of the equation na kayang matanggal na yung mismong unwanted variable doon. I mean, kailangan mo ng purong function of x. So, kailangan x lang. Kailangan mo ng y function doon sa term na yun. So, yun ang dapat. Yun yung requirement dito. So, kaya hindi siya separable. Okay, let me clear this one. Okay, let's continue. Sir Phil. So, we can integrate now each term. So, integral of y dy. Remember how to integrate. So, dito naman, pag nagawa na natin, na ma-separate na natin yung mga variables. Na yung x ay naka dx, yung y ay naka dy. The next challenge will be the integration na process. Kasi if you have forgotten, walang problema kung simple integration lang, like power formula, like you know, yung mga antiderivatives ng trigo functions, antiderivatives ng exponential. So you have to recall those formulas. Pagdating doon sa mga trigo substitution, integration by parts, yun na yung magiging challenge kapag nakalimutan na ninyo. So you have to, again, remember and recall those techniques for integration. Okay? Yun yung magiging ano, makakatulong sa inyo dito. Kapag nakalimutan mo yung technique for this particular integration, yun yung magiging ano lang, problem. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. So this is y squared over 2 equals x squared over 2. As you can see, itong example natin, as much as possible, kung pwedeng yung function of y or variable y nasa left-hand side, tapos yung variable x ay nasa right. Doon tayo mag-add lagi ng plus c or arbitrary constant. Tandaan ha, yung y is the unknown function or the dependent variable in this case. Yung x is the independent variable. Kaya yung left dapat, kung possible lang ha, or kung hindi possible, lahat sila nasa left-hand side equal to the arbitrary constant c. Okay? So yun yung magiging ano nyo. Parang rule na gagawin na, okay, kung kaya naman sila na nasa isang side lang, basta masimplify mo yung solution. Importante na simplify yung solution. So, pagdating dito, you have y squared over 2 equals x squared over 2 plus, di ba? Nag-add tayo ng arbitrary constant c or plus c. But we can still simplify this one. Okay? Or yung tinuro ko nung last time, if kung yun yung ginawa ko, na, uh, I think nag-introduce ako ng ano, di ba? ng factor or ng mismong constant para ma-simplify natin yung entire equation. Or pwedeng hindi mo na gawin yung ganyan, tapos pagdating sa dulo, make sure na papaltan mo yung kung ano man nangyari sa C as, a, as bagong C na may mapakita ko. So, itong gina, ginawa ko since common yung one half or over two sa dalawang terms, ang ginawa ko din sa C is ginawa kong C over two na rin siya. Okay? Para pagdating sa solution, sa general solution, C na lang yung lalabas, okay? So, pwede kasing ganun eh, nababaguhin mo yung C mo 
para ma-simplify mo yung entire solution. Okay? I mean, maintain mo yung solution nitong DE. So, multiplying both sides by 2, para matanggal natin yung over 2 na yan, or yung 1 half, we have y squared equals x squared plus yan, c. So, ayan na. So, what will happen kung hindi natin nilagyan ng over 2 dito? Yun yung sinasabi ko na pwede naman yung ganun na case. Kung naalala niyo, di ba sabi ko na kaysa magbago kayo sa huli, baguhin niyo muna sa umpisa. Right? Sa umpisa pa lang magbago na kayo kaysa sa huli kayo magsisisi. O magsisi. May mga ganong hugot joke lang. Ito kunyari, hindi natin nalagyan ng over 2 dito. So, ang mangyayari dito is magiging 2C siya. Di ba? So, yung 2C na to, gagawin mo siyang C na lang sa final answer mo. Okay? Ganon yung isang way. Pero itong ginawa ko, nakapattern siya dun sa mismong kung ano yung nakikita natin, especially dun sa Y kalagi titingin. Okay? Kasi yung isa sa mga parang nire-requirements sa solutions, nakasolve for Y siya. I mean, explicitly nakasolve for Y na ganito. Y is equal to itong side na to, function of X siya. Yun yung solution actually. So plus C. Yun yung solution ng DE. Okay, nakasolve yung, yung nakasolve for y na siya. Kaya ganun yung arrangement natin, yung left hand side andun yung variable y. Pero kapag medyo complex na or komplikado na yung mismo equation, so pwedeng lahat sila nasa left hand side tapos naka-equal naka-equate sa, sa c. Okay, so that's your final answer or you can solve for y. Paano? Kasi nga di ba y squared. So para ma-solve for y natin yan, paano matatanggal paano matanggal yung square? So, i-square root natin both sides of the equation. No? So, ganun yung gagawin natin. So, in that case, di natin babaguhin yung C. Kasi na-simplify na natin siya, di ba? So, we have Y equals, tanggal na yung squared. Ayan, Y na lang. Y equals the square root of X squared plus C. So, yan yung ibig kong sabihin na nakasolve for Y na siya. Pagkayang gawin ng ganyan, so much better. Pero kapag uh, medyo complex na, I'm not requiring you to do it unless na nakaspecify na, okay, solve for y. Okay, tandaan niyo ha, specify ko naman siya. Pero kapag kaya, pas madali lang na isolve for y, gawin nyo. Pero sa mga komplikadong mga solutions, you need not to put that into this format ng solution. So these are your general solutions. So pwedeng ito yung sagot nyo y squared, or transpose mo tong x sa kabilang side, magiging ano siya, y squared minus x squared equal to c. So that's another way of writing your solution. Let's proceed to the next example. This is, yeah, naka-ayos na siya into mdx plus mdy. Actually, no, ito dy, ito naman dx. So, kailangan, para ma-integrate natin to, kailangan pure function of y. Para ma-integrate natin to, kailangan pure function of x. So, ang tanong ba, ito ay separable ba or not? Sa unang, sa unang tingin, separable ba siya? Yes. Okay, yung x plus 1 na to, ayan, anong gagawin natin? Divide both sides. Pwede mo i-transpose to sa kabilang side. Kung saan ka masaya, pwede mo namang i-transpose to. Ayan. Since ito medyo madali lang naman tong DE na to, transpose mo na sa kabilang side. Sige. Or, di-divide both sides mo na with 1 plus x. Diba? Okay, copyin mo na natin. DY. So, transpose sa kabilang side, maging positive y dx. Ayan. Cross multiply or divide both sides by, anong gusto mong tanggalin dyan? Sa left-hand side, di ba dy? So, kailangan pure function of y or variable y lang yung makikita mo. So, tatanggalin mo yung 1, or 1 plus x. So, divide both sides by 1 plus x. So, sa right-hand side, meron ka namang yan, y dx. So, kailangan matanggal yung y. So, divide both sides by y. Nakuha yung point yung punta dito sa dy over y equals you have dx over 1 plus x. So that's it. Pure function of y, pure function of x. So the next step is to integrate. Okay, so you will now integrate. That's this next step. So remember how to integrate this one. Logarithmic, di ba? So dy over y. The integral of that is ln of y. Okay, paano naging ln of 1 plus x yan, sir? Okay, so before that, 
let me just recall or let us just recall yung formula na yun sa integral. Okay, remember the integral of du over u is equal to what? ln of u. u. Okay? Plus c. Ganun gagawin mo. So, ibig sabihin, yung nasa numerator mo, yun yung differential ni u. Okay? So, if you are to check this one, kung ito yung u natin, ayan, u is equal to 1 plus x. Differentiate mo to. This is 0 dx, di ba? So, dx yung nasa numerator. So, satisfied niya yung formula na du over u. Kaya yung sagot dyan is ln of 1 plus x. Okay, now, nag plus c tayo. Pwede, pero pwede pa itong ma-simplify. As you can, tandaan ha, uh, pakitake note na lang guys or tandaan ninyo. Yung way ng pag-simplify natin, doon tayo titingin lagi sa variable y. Okay? Kung hindi siya simplified. So, yun yung parang basehan natin para i-simplify siya. Kung halimbawa, ito ay y lang, tapos y is equal to ln of x, okay na yun. Yun na yung final answer mo. But because yung, L, yung y natin is nakalogarithmic siya na form. So, may gagawin tayo dun sa mismong equation. Lalo not divide yung dalawang terms dito na ka-ln pareho. So, kailangan i-simplify na natin to. Gawin na natin ln of c din to. Tapos na yung integration eh. Yung pag-simplify naman yung magiging challenge dito. Tandaan nyo yung c could represent any value yan. Any constant, di ba? Pwede yung ln of c is still c pa rin yan. Square root of c erase to C. So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng C. Pwede mong gamitin yung C or modify siya para ma-simplify mo yung entire equation. So, nagawin natin instead of writing plus C, gawin mo na rin siyang plus ln of C. Bakit ito ginawang ganyan? Kasi kapag nakapare yung ln yan, property of logarithmic functions, pwede natin i-combine. Diba? If you remember, again, another recall sa property ng logarithmic functions, pag sinabi natin na ln of the product, yan, ln of x times y, equal yan sa ln of tor x plus ln of y. Narecall nyo ba yan, yung property na yan? Kaya kapag nakaganitong format, pwede mo nang pagsamahin ito sa iisang term lang, which is ln of 1 plus x times C. Ano ba yan? Sorry. Kasi plus, di ba? Now, paano naman yung minus, sir? So, kapag ln of, recall lang naman to ng property ng logarithmic functions. So, ito natural logarithm to. So, same lang din naman yung magagamit. Same lang din naman yung property. So, ln of the numerator, minus naman siya. ln of the denominator. Okay? Narecall nyo yan? Ginamit natin yung ganong idea para ma-simplify natin. Kasi you cannot perform anti-logarithmic, anti-LN kapag nakadalawang terms yan. So, kailangan muna natin siya mapagsama sa isang term lang. Okay, let's continue. So, ang ginagawa na dito is anti-LN. So, nerase, ano, ginawa siyang anti-LN both sides of the equation. So, erase LN of Y. So, you apply it both sides of the equation. Ayan, sinulat ko na na yung itong term na to is actually equal to ln of 1 plus x times c. So, having done that, anti-ln of both sides of the equation, recall natin na e raised to ln of y is equal to y. O, property ng logarithmic functions or anti-ln yan. LN of, e raised to ln of x is equal to x. That's why you were able to eliminate ln there. So, y is equal to, magiging tanggal ng ln guys ha, pag ganun yung case. c times 1 plus x. So that's it. That's how you simplify this uh, general solution. So ginamit natin yung C para ma-simplify inter equation. So ganun lang. Hindi lang yung simple na binalikan pa rin natin yung mga properties nila, di ba, ng function na to. Sige, our next example is x times y raised to negative 3 times dx plus e raised to Positive x squared times dy equal to 0. Okay, take a look at the given differential equation. Separable ba siya by just looking at it or not? Separable siya. Okay, naka-factored form kasi. Kaya nga, pwede mo yung 
ma-separate yung mga variables na yung x ay nakay dx, na yung y ay nakay dy. So, how will you do that? Divide both sides by, ano yung gusto mong tanggalin dito? Yung variable y, di ba? So, divide both sides by y raised to negative 3. Tapos sa second term naman, dapat pure function of y lang, di ba? So, i-divide natin siya, yan, with these factors. Yan. E raised to x squared naman para dun sa second term. So, by doing that, we now have sa first term, tanggal na yung y raised to negative 3, kaya meron kang x na matitira dyan, times dx over e raised to x squared. Ayan, pure function of x na yan. For the second term naman, tatanggalin natin yung e raised to x squared, kaya nag-divide tayo ng e raised to x squared, right? So, ang matitira dyan is, you have dy over y raised to negative 3 equal to 0. So, may option ka na pwede mong i-transpose yung isa sa mga terms sa kabilang side or you can work on this differential equation kasi pure function of x naman yung first term at pure function of y naman yung second term. Pwede ganun na lang muna yung gagawin mo as is mo na lang sa isang side or pwede mong i-transpose na yung variable x doon sa or yung, fun, yung term na merong variable x sa kabilang side. Again, so um, hindi ibig sabihin na kung yung solution ko, ito na, yung, ito na lang yung parang gagawin mo kasi may mga ibang estudyante ng tatanong sir na hindi nakalimit lang sa ganun na way yung pag-present ng solution. Nakuha niya. Let's proceed. So ang ginawa ko dito is, anong nangyari? So pag tinaas mo to, magiging negative na yung, ano diba? Exponent, ganun lang yung mangyayari. So x times e raised to minus x squared. Bakit ginawa yan? Kasi exponential yung involved, di ba? So, tingnan natin, baka pwede magamit yung exponential na formula. So, here naman, so you have, you can use actually power formula. Here, pag tinaas mo to, nilagay mo sa taas, the sign will change from negative to positive. So, naging y cubed times dy. So, we can now perform integration. So, yung unang term, x times e raised to na minus x squared. So, recall natin yung formula kapag involved yung exponential function. So, baka pwede gamitin ng antiderivative for exponential function. Now, so we'll work on the first term. Yeah, so isolate muna natin siya. So remember, integral of e raised to u du is equal to what? e raised to u. So kailangan satisfied yung differential doon. So kung yung u natin is, yeah, so we'll replace first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's minus x squared. Inayos lang natin into this format. Kung itong x dx ba ay differential ni minus x squared. So, let u equal to minus x squared and then differentiate that. That is minus 2x dx. So, as you can see, you have x dx here. Diba? Ano yung kulang para masatisfy niya yung differential na ito? Kailangan mo ng minus 2. Diba? Pwede kang mag-introduce ng neutralizing factor. You can put minus 2 there and then Sa labas ng integral symbol, so pwede mo i-divide by minus 2. Pwede mong i-express yung sagot mo na yung x dx, so kung saan ka masaya, pwede mong as is na lang yung x dx, as papalitan mo na lang yung x dx in terms dun sa nakuha mong differential. So yan, binura ko muna yung minus 2. And pwede ganun yung way na gagawin mo or substitution gamit yung itong na-differentiate natin. So, you represent x dx in terms of, yan, divide both sides by minus 2, kaya mayroon kang du over minus 2. So, same lang actually yung idea. That's why you have, ayan, e raised to u, yung x dx mo is equal to du over minus 2. Ayan, so over minus 2 siya. So, pagdating dito, pwede mo nang ilabas yung minus 1 half. Okay, integral of e raised to u du. And that ang formula niyan is minus 1 half e raised to u. So, ganun lang. Ano ba yung u natin? Minus x squared. So, ibalik mo na lang yung value ni u. Ang totoong value niya. So, here the answer for the first term is you have minus 1 half e raised to minus x squared. And then, for the second term, power formula lang yan, so, you have y raised to 4 over 4. Alam ba yung power formula? Na-recall nyo yan? Yung y raised to n 
the answer is, pag-integrate mo yan, magiging y raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1. So, y raised to 4 over 4 and equals, syempre, the arbitrary constant c yung nasa right-hand side mo. So, dito, pwede natin simplify na to. Anong ginamit ko dito? Nag-divide by 4 ako sa c ko. Doon ako tumitingin lagi sa y para ma-simplify ko siya. So, I'll multiply. Bakit 4? Kasi nga ito, um, divisible, by, divisible by 2 kasi yung 4, di ba? So, kapag uh, ito, multiply natin dito, maging whole number na yung 1 half mo. Di ba? I mean, ma-transform na yung term na yan into having a coefficient na whole number. Okay? So, by multiplying both sides by positive 4, we now have 4 divided by minus 2. So, you have minus 2 e raised to negative x squared. Sa so second term, so magiging y raised to 4 na lang siya. And then sa last term is c. C pa rin siya. So yun yung magiging sagot mo actually. Transpose lang natin yung unang term sa kabilang side para maging positive siya. So ito na yung sinasabi ko na pwedeng gawin mo yung pagtranspose dun sa bandang last part na or ituloy mo lang na mag-integrate ka kapag napaghiwalay mo na yung variables. So, ito na ngayon yung final answer mo unless you're asked to solve for y. So, kunin mo yung fourth root. Yan. Fourth root of both sides of the equation. Kaya, yun yung sagot natin. Kaya nakasolve for y na siya. Or, as is mo na lang, naayusin na lang yung pinaka-equation mo doon. Kanina, naunahin mo yung positive na term. So, tapos minus ka 2 e raised to that minus x squared. Maraming kasing pwedeng ways na para ma-present mo yung general solution mo. Ito pa yung isa sa mga ways. Sige, kasi gusto ko lang na ma-explore natin yung ibang mga techniques. So, katulad nito, ayoko ng may negative exponent, ba? So, ang gagawin ko dito is multiply ko both sides by what? e raised to para ma-cancel to positive, ba? It's squared. Or i-divide both sides by this one, negative, tapos para makancel to. So, ang matitira dito sa unang term is meron kang minus 2. Sa pangalawang term, meron kang y raised to 4. Yan. Yung idea lang na positive lahat ng exponents. Ng exponent. So, x squared equal to c e raised to x squared. Ayan na. Tapos pwede natin pagsamahin sa isang side na lang sila. Transpose mo ito sa kabilang side. So magiging factor, factor out ko yung x, e raised to x squared times y raised to 4. Ayan. Minus c. Ayan. Gusto mo i-transpose sa kabila yung 2 para maging positive siya. Equal to 2 or minus 2 ka equal to 0. Okay? So, that's one way. Kasi baka may mga ganun na sa, ano, sa mga choices sa uh, exam ninyo. Sabihin mo na, ay, wala yung sagot ko. No answer to. Ganyan. Pero pwede palang ayusin sa ganyang format. ba? So, yan. I have shown you several ways or several na ways of presenting your final answer or general solution. So, this is actually general solution. Ngayon naman, pagdating sa particular solution, so may given condition ka para ma-solve mo yung value ng C at i-plug in mo yung C na yan sa general solution para mag para ma yung particular solution. So, we'll have an example for that later. Now, this one. Y is equal to, uh, Y times E raised to 2X times DX equals sa so right-hand side, Ayan, 4 plus e raised to 2x. Madali lang yan, di ba? Kaya separate Kasi, yung nasa right, left-hand side, yung nasa left-hand side mo is dx. So, kailangan variable x lang yung makikita mo dyan. So, tatanggalin natin yung y, kaya we divide both sides by y. Sa right-hand side, dy. So, kailangan variable y lang yung makikita mo dyan. Kailangan i-divide natin both sides by 4 plus e raised to 2x. Okay, so that's it. So, dividing both sides, ang ginawa ko dito is in-interchange ko na sila. Yung kabilang side, yung dy na sa left-hand side, yung x naman na sa right-hand side. Kaya, yun naging result. Diba? dy over y equals e raised to 2x times dx 
over 4 plus e raised to 2x. Okay, nasundan, pure function of y, tsaka pure function of x. Now, we can integrate each term. So, ln lang yan, yung nasa left-hand side, ln of y. How about the sa right-hand side? Let's check kung possible ba na magamit yung ln, yung formula na integral of du over u, which is ln of u. So, let's check kung yung denominator na 4 plus e raised to 2x, kung yung, yan yung ating u. We will now differentiate. Sige, differentiate natin yung u na yan. So, that is 0 plus, yan, e raised to 2x, derivative ng 2x is 2 times dx. Tsaka, meron kang e raised to 2x dx na sa numerator, ang kulang lang is positive 2. So, you need to introduce a neutralizing factor para ma-satisfy natin at magamit yung formula. Okay, or you can actually substitute, di ba, yung e raised to 2x dx is equal to du over 2. So, you plug in, in that right-hand side. So, you have the integral of e raised to 2x dx is du over 2. Over what? U. Yung one-half na constant, ilabas, muna, ilabas natin siya before the, yan, the integral symbol. So, you have du over u. That's why meron tayong one-half ln of u sa right-hand side. But what is u? I-plug in natin yung original na function. What is u? u is equal to 4 plus e raised to 2x. So, doon tayo mag plus c na lang, di ba? ln of y, yan, plus the arbitrary constant c. Or we can simplify, di ba? Tingnan mo. ln of c yung gagawin natin dyan. But, para mapagsama natin sa isang, sa isang, term, kailangan nating anong gagawin natin sa one-half dyan? Tanggalin mo yung one-half, ilipat natin siya. So, if you remember yung property ng logarithmic function, okay, recall ulit tayo ng panibago. Ito guys, may coefficient siya, di ba? A, ln of x, for example, argument mo. Itong A na to, pwede mo siyang ilipat dun as magiging exponent siya ng argument. So, magiging ln of x raised to A siya. Nakuha? Nakuha? So, yun yung idea natin dyan sa first term na to. Okay? So, I hope you still recall that one. Now, let's continue. So, magiging ano siya guys? Ln of 4 plus e raised to 2x raised to 1 half plus ln of c or pag pinagsama na natin siya sa isang term. Yung kanina, pinakita ko na property ng logarithmic function. So, we have ln of y equals ln of 4 plus e raised to 2x raised to 1 half times c. No, Mag-anti-ln na tayo. Ginawa natin to para ma-apply natin yung anti-ln both sides of the equation. Okay? So, that's it. So, magiging y na lang siya equals arbitrary constant c times ito ay square root actually of 4 plus e raised to 2x. That's your final answer. Nakasolve for y na siya. This is your general solution. And a general solution contains an arbitrary constant. Sir, bakit naka ln din yung c doon po sa ano, baba? Ginawa ko siyang ln of c para mapagsama ko na lang siya sa iisang uh, term na lang sila. Okay po. Sure? Nag-gets? Okay. Ginawa ko siyang ln of c para mapagsama ko sa isang term. Di ba yung recall natin kanina yung sinabi ko na property ng logarithmic function kapag naka ln of, for example, x plus ln of y yan. Pwede mo nang pagsamay. Basta provided na yung coefficient na ay 1, ha? 1. Kaya ang ginawa ko dito sa 1 half, tinanggal ko siya at nilipat ko siya as exponent dito ng argument na to. Kaya yung result na to is ln of, yan, the product of x and y. Ito na yun, di ba? Ito yung x mo with exponent. Tapos ito yung c mo. Kaya ito, Nasa isang term na lang sila. Right? At pwede nang i-apply yung anti-LN. Okay? Ganun. Take note nyo to ha. Paano naman kapag lag? Diba? Pag lag kasi, pag nag-anti-lag ka, diba kunyari, gusto mong malaman yung 
value ng x, hindi i-raise mo lang. Yung anti lag is ganito. 10 raised to this. Kasi yung base nito is base 10, di ba? Para makancel mo yan. X na lang matitira. Ganun yung idea. Kasi ito, natural logarithm yung base niyan is e. Log of y to the base e. Yung ibig sabihin ng ln or natural logarithm. Okay, now let's obtain the particular solution. This is just one example para lang ma-demonstrate natin how you can be able to determine the particular solution. Ayan, separable DE. Ang condition natin dito is y of 4 is equal to minus 3. So, anong ibig sabihin ng y of 4 equal to minus 3? Ayan, gawin muna natin to para ma-determine yung general solution. So, we have cross-multiplied. Nasa left-hand side, y squared over 2. Sa right-hand side is minus x squared over 2. So, para simplify natin yung mismo solution na yan, gawin na rin natin na c over 2 yung instead of writing plus c, so gawing c over 2. Then, multiply both sides by 2. So, you now have y squared equals minus x squared plus c. This is now your general solution. At hindi yan yung hinahanap natin, di ba? Particular solution. So, we have a condition para masolve natin yung value ni C. Okay? Gagamitin natin yung condition na yan. Ang ibig sabihin nito is that when x is equal to, ano value ni x dyan? When x is equal to 4, y is equal to minus 3. Now, you plug in these values dun sa general solution. So, ano yung value ni y? It's minus 3. So, you have Ayan, minus 3 squared equals negative, ano yung value ni x? 4 squared plus c. Ayan, so masolve natin yung value ni c. So you have minus 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16, so minus, ano yan, 16 plus c. Transpose natin yung minus 16, so you have 9 plus 16 equals 25. Yun na yung value ni C, i-plug in mo kayo yung value ni C dun sa general solution. Now you have the particular solution. So, y squared equals minus x squared plus 25. So, actually circle yan, di ba? Equation ng circle. Pwede mong i-transpose yung minus x squared dun sa left-hand side para maging positive siya. So, yung magiging solution mo is, ayan, other way of writing that is x squared. And positive siya plus y squared equals 25. Okay? That's it. That's how you apply the given condition para masolve natin yung value ni C at to finally write our particular solution. Now, I am going to ask you kung ito bang di na to ay separable or not. Okay, ito. Separable ba to or not? Na-recall niyo yung uh, love exponents, guys. Ito, di ba? Love exponents. Pagpala ng base. Pwede siyang paghiwalayin yan, di ba? I raise to x times I raise to y. So, dahil dyan, anong masasabi niyo? Separable, separable siya or not? Separable po. Separable Okay na? So, separable na siya yung idea. So, paano nga yan? Ito guys, yun. Diba? Naka-factored form na. Basta nakakayang i-factor out. Separable yun. Sige. Ito. So, ang nangyari dyan, itong y prime is dy over dx, diba? So, ito dapat y lang yan dito. Tapos, ito purong function of x. So, ang gagawin lang natin, Cross multiply, tapos ano yung tatanggalin natin dito? Tanggalin natin yung dx dyan. So multiply by dx, tapos divide by, tanggalin mo yung x, erase to x, para maging function of y na lang siya. Ito tatanggalin mo yung sine of y. Ayan na guys. So dito, Dividing both sides and multiplying by dx, tanggal na to. So, magiging ano na lang siya, e raised to y, dy over sine y. 
equals, ano nga sa kanan? dx, di ba? dx over x e raised to x. So, ayan. Pure function of y sa left-hand side and pure function of x sa, ayan, sa right-hand side. Okay? Try nyo ang paghiwalayan to, ha? I'll give you two minutes. Okay. Sige. Take a look at my solution or my way of, you know, separating the variables. So, as you can see here, di ba common yung x? So, pwede i-factor out yung x, right? So, ito na yung factored form. x times y plus 1. So, pag nakaganto na yung format natin, so pwede na natin siyang ma-separate later, di ba? Matatanggal na natin yung y plus 1 dito. By dividing both sides by y plus 1. Here naman, so, apat na terms, ang ginawa natin is nag-factor tayo by grouping. Yung first two terms, since may common dito sa kanila yung x squared, isang group sila, isang term sila. Ginawa ko isang term. Yung y squared plus 1, ginawa ko rin isang term yan. So as you can see, on the first two terms, or itong term na to, first term na to, common yung x squared, right? So factor out ko yung x squared. Anong natira? y squared plus 1. So as you can see, yung dalawang terms natin, may common na factors, di ba? Yung y squared plus 1, ayan, sa bawat term. So, dahil dyan, factoring out y squared plus 1 will give me, ano yung natira dito? x squared. Ano natira sa pangalawang term? 1. Kaya, naka-factored form na siya. And at this stage, you can separate the variables. You may continue solving this, and if you have any questions, please send me a message. Thank you.